method one, you will need new glass. I will need a soda, popcorn, spaghetti, peas, and butter. Add a cup to glass. Put soda into glass. Repeat with other items. This effect occurs because the bottle of carbonated soda contains a gas called carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide has been dissolved in the carbonated soda under pressure. When you open a can of carbonated soda and pour it into the glass, the carbon dioxide gas is released. Carbon dioxide gas is less dense than the rest of the soda, so bubbles of carbon dioxide rise to the surface of the soda. When you add the food to the soda, Carbon dioxide bubbles collect on the surface of each food. The bubbles combine with the food to make the food less dense than the soda, so they flow to the surface. At the surface, the carbon dioxide bubbles break and the food once again become more dense than the soda. The bubble-free food sink back to the bottom of the glass. On the bottom of the glass, the carbon dioxide bubbles collect on the surface of the food again and the trip starts all over. This process will occur as long as the soda continues to release enough carbon dioxide. After a short time, the soda will stop releasing carbon dioxide and the process will stop. When vinegar and baking soda mix, a chemical reaction occurs and they form tiny gas bubbles, carbon dioxide. The same process occurs with this carbon dioxide. Bye! Thanks for watching!